Berlin has been somewhere I've always been drawn to and attracted to. So it happened that even before this particular album, Postcards from Berlin, came into existence, I knew that I was going to have to go there to record. It was just like everything that had influenced me over the years on my own music that happened there. And I knew that the sound I wanted, I wanted a cold East European winter kind of sound. Did you ever believe? Firstly, recording at the Hansa Meistersaal was almost like a very important personal journey. I mean, all the Depeche Mode albums that I loved years ago were recorded there. The Bowie trilogy, the uh, U2's Acton Baby. This was a special room that mo most people never get to stand in. And we sort of had to beg our way into it to be able to even afford it. First and foremost, you know, going to this place I'd never been before. I mean, I dreamt about it, um, but I'd never been. And I was told I was going to enjoy my experience there. But without knowing anything, just firstly from a production perspective, arranging it and then getting there and it working, that's a big risk. You spend a lot of money to go to this place you don't know anything about, to make bookings with people you don't know if they can do what they say they can do, if they're going to even turn up on time. So it was a huge risk. Day one, I've landed and we're here at the Hansa Meistersaal in a very expensive room with three string players I don't know and an engineer and his team bringing in a totally mobile studio for the day. There's a huge amount of variables that can go wrong there and it was perfection. I mean, everybody, the most amazing thing was how everybody stepped up to the plate and was fully invested in this being perfect and amazing. No one had a watch on, no one cared about time, they cared about it being right. One, two, three. Three. Um, oh, one, one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Yeah. Bang. Okay. One, two. Mm. Oh, <laughs> 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 that makes sense. I, I was you. I was talking to you on that. <laughs> The UFO studio was even more mind-blowing really because that was a room, well that was a series of rooms of halls and bunkers that have this whole World War II history and the sound in those rooms is just, you can't get it anywhere else, I've not heard anything like it anywhere. I was recommended Jeff, Jeff Collier. And Jeff's an American drummer who's been living in Berlin for quite a while. And recording them in the room we recorded them with, this is this 
200 square meter room with eight meter high ceilings and basically a drum kit in the middle. And Jeff played, I think, on five particular tracks and there's another three that he did really great loops for that I then wanted to take, manipulate and edit into something a bit weirder. There's no point in going to a studio in Berlin and recording a piano in a controlled room. You've got to try and capture the room with it. a distinct sound of Berlin on every single song and it's given it an extra 20% that I could not have got if I just stayed in here and tried to program it or brought string players in here or recorded drums in LA. There's something very special about those rooms, the atmospheres, the history of them, that was worth the trip in itself. Okay it's last thing on uh, Friday and we are heading down into the depths of the UFO bunker, the whole team that's been working on the album today. And we are gonna. Will we survive? Is the question. Are there ghosts? Yeah, they are. They are ghosts. So we are heading down. We're heading down through. Um, that's Hitler's bunker door. Oh my god. We're heading through Hitler's bunker door into the depths of the UFO. Here we go. Follow the noise. I think the real joy that I wasn't expecting to get from this whole process was the awareness I had of being in the moment and actually knowing we're creating something special. And I think when people hear what we created, when they get a chance to really sit down and absorb it and put those headphones on and get lost in this, they're going to have a very, very special experience.